Hello, I'm Leo Brown. This is the What If It Is True podcast for today. As we look at our gospel, try to find that virtue, try to live it. That's the whole goal here. And Christ, with an interesting admonition to those to whom he's speaking in this passage from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, 31 through 42, about kind of who they pledge allegiance to or who they belong to. And he's basically saying that he is sent from the father and they're saying, well, Abraham is our father. And he's like, well, if you really believed in God, you would understand me as well. And there's this, um, this interesting type of kind of really deciding and discovering who Jesus is. Is he who he says he is? And it's, it's this kind of theme that runs through so much of the Gospels. Of course, those who are so set in their ways. I mean, right? You, we're so far removed 2,000 years from this time of history, it's hard for us to really understand because we think, okay, well, why couldn't they see this? Or this was obviously the Son of God. Why didn't they understand that, right? And we can have this kind of 2020 hindsight, which they didn't have. But I think when we look at this, we've got to ask the same kind of question. What is it that we're not seeing, right? What are we blind to? What are we just not willing to understand or or discover or step into or out of in our own lives? And it's pretty easy for us to fall into traps of simply saying, this is the way it always was, or this is the way it's always been, or this is who we are, and this is why we do this, rather than stopping and saying, okay, what is going on? Something I've been meditating on is uh, actually, quite frankly, just this morning a Mass, thinking about this, that when anything comes our way, we got a, uh, a couple of options, right? We can choose to react or we can choose to respond. And I think that respond in turn gives us responsibility. Reaction versus response. And I think that when we respond, we can slow the response down and ask a couple of questions. First is, why is this happening? And I think it's all that answer is always the same. Ultimately, it's because it's for our greater good, right? It's for the our our growth and the the best thing that could possibly come from that. So the why I think is pretty consistent. Then we got to say, okay, well, what is it I'm supposed to learn, and how do I apply it? And I think that when we start that series of examination into anything that happens through response and not reaction, amazing things can happen. We've slown it slowed it down enough to allow grace to do its work, right? And we get to have grace with ourselves, and I think that that's something that we can learn from this lesson as well. So ultimately, the virtue is allowing that grace to cultivate, right? To find out more about what if it is true, visit us online at realliferadio.com. We stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week there. And in Lexington, Kentucky, and surrounding areas, listen to us at 94.9 FM and 1380 AM. And, of course, the companion blog at What If It Is True Real Life at blogspot.blogspot.com. This is the What If It Is True podcast. I'm Leo Brown. God bless.